Welcome to Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose, and today's show, we are having Miss America's Outstanding Teen. Yes, I did say that correctly, Miss America's Outstanding Teen. Formerly, she was Miss Smith Station, then went on to be Miss Alabama, and now she is Miss America's Outstanding Teen. So today, we will be talking with Jessica Bader. We're also gonna have some other special guests that she doesn't know about. They are going to be a surprise to her. So stay tuned. You're watching Spotlight on Lee County here on CTVB. I'm Loretta Rose. Welcome again to Spotlight on Lee County with Loretta Rose. And today our special guest is Miss America's Outstanding Team, Jessica Bader. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Jessica. Thank you for having me. You look lovely as always. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, first of all, how are you feeling? I'm good. I'm still kind of on cloud nine, but trying to get back into the swing of things with school and everything. Um, but yeah, it's just been, it's been amazing. You're a senior? I am. Wow, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> now you have a lot going on in your senior year. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure since you have been crowned, your schedule has <laughs> been all over. Mm -hmm. So how has that been? I mean, how has your life changed since that day when you were crowned as Miss America's Outstanding Team? Mm -hmm. Well, with school and everything going on, I'm able to do all my classes online. So I'm a virtual student, so it allows me to travel when I need to, um, but also be able to finish high school. So I'm excited about that and so thankful my school is being so accommodating. Um, and then I've gotten to travel, right now it's just been within the state, um, and it'll start to pick up soon, but I've gotten to take my platform to the next level and go to different mm -hmm. meetings in Montgomery and hopefully across the country. Now, I heard you say platform. Mm -hmm. For those that are probably watching, they probably don't know, you're gonna get to know in a great way, Jessica Baders, let them know about your platform because it's mm -hmm. so awesome. <laughs> My platform is called Healthy Food for All and it, I've been in the organization for three years and I've been developing, developing my platform for three years. And so it started out as a educational program. So I would go into elementary schools and middle schools and teach kids on how to eat healthy and how to exercise and how we can do that in our daily lives. But the more work that I did with that, the more I realized that kids don't have access mm -hmm. to healthy foods. There are some places called food deserts so there's not a healthy grocery store for 30 miles. So they're having to get their groceries at the Dollar General, which aren't the best options. Yes. So I've developed it into healthy food for all, and it's more focused on food insecurity and getting access to healthy food. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. And you have a heart for the children. Mm -hmm. Okay. Started out as Miss Miss Station. First of all, what led you to that point? How did you get to the point of being Miss Miss Station? I'm pretty sure, I mean, people that are watching, they may not know how you even got started, mm -hmm. but how the beginning, help us to get the journey from the beginning to now. How did you yeah. get to be Miss, how did that happen, <laughs> Miss Miss Station? Well, my mom was Miss North Carolina, and so we went back for the 75th anniversary and I saw they had a teen program. And so we kind of been out of the pageant world and she hadn't talked about it much. And so I didn't realize that outstanding teen was a thing. Uh -huh. And so when we came back, I prepared for my first pageant. Um, and I was thankful to have won Miss Lee County Fair's outstanding teen and get to compete at state. And then the next year I went back as Miss Chattahoochee Valley's outstanding teen and I was first runner up. In my third year, I found the lovely people of Smith Station uh -huh. and I got to represent that community and be with that whole board of directors and they helped me get me where I am. Well, you have made the community of Smith Station, Lee County, very proud. Thank you. And we would love to tell you that over and over <laughs> and over again. Um, we are very, very proud of you. Um, you have represented not only Smith Station, but the state of Alabama <laughs> on such a national level. So you were Miss Smith Station, mm -hmm. Then you had the opportunity to go and compete, and you won Miss Alabama. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jessica, <laughs> from then up until that point, I mean, how was that? It's <laughs> amazing. I mean, just being in a community that's so supportive and to have my directors with me to you know help me every step of the way and encourage me it really it takes a village to help yes. someone achieve a goal and that's what it took for me and I just happened to find the perfect village wow you, you know that 
That's what I love about you. You say all the right things. <laughs> that is so true. It does take a village, and mm -hmm. you have a village of support here. Um, the city council, <laughs> they're very proud. Mm -hmm. I got to see you speak to them. Uh, mayor Copeland, the mm -hmm. mayor of Smith Station, he is super, super proud of you as well. <laughs> um, there are some, a lot of other great people. Miss Joy Little, mm -hmm. you know, um, that sweet lady. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, she just loves you, loves you so much. Um, now that you are Miss America, mm -hmm. outstanding teen, tell us what's happening now. I mean, how are you, um, what's the next thing? Mm -hmm. You know, what's after the, I mean, what's what's next for Jessica? Well, the very next thing is going to Miss America. Um, so that's, wow. there's the teen program and then there's Miss. Wow. And so I'll go to Atlantic City in next Tuesday, actually. Okay. So it's coming up. Um, and I'll get to perform one of the prelim nights and do some appearances with my platform as well as just around the community. So I'm really excited about that. That'll oh. be my first big traveling. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you know, let's go back. Cause some, we're gonna eventually implement mm -hmm that m crowning moment. <laughs> but before we talk about that, I wanna know that co talent competition mm -hmm. because I saw you and you were like on your toes <laughs> like this. <laughs> and my daughter was like, is that real? I'm like, yes. <laughs> Tell us how was that? Because mm -hmm. they say you blew it, girl. <laughs> Tell us I, how that how was that? How did that feel? Yeah, it was crazy. I, the whole time I was up there, I had to keep reminding myself I'm on a national stage. Like it mm -hmm. just it felt so surreal. And the talent competition is my favorite part of competition. Um, so I've grown up as a dancer uh, since mm -hmm. I was about three years old. I've been dancing, and since I was ten, I've been on point. And I really love ballet, but also combi combining ballet with jazz and other styles. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did for my talent was a jazz on point to Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. Yes. And I was excited <laughs> to have taken that from state and to perform it on the national level. And I was really honored to have received a talent preliminary award. Yeah, you did a great job. Thank you. You did a phenomenal job with that. Okay. When they called out <laughs> your name, mm -hmm. Miss America's Outstanding Teen. Miss Alabama, Jessica Bader, <laughs> the look on, you look like, oh my God. How was that moment? I just, well, I was standing there with Miss Georgia's outstanding teen, who was the first other teen contestant that I had met because I went to the Miss Georgia pageant and I got to meet her. So it was pretty cool to be up there with the first friend that I made um, in the system going to nationals. So that was really cool. And then on the video, you can see us talking back and forth, but I honestly don't remember what we were talking about. There was just <laughs> nerves and excitement and everything was going. And then they call my name and I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know you were, because I, I could see it, we could see it. And that dress, <laughs> you look like a Cinderella doll. Thank you. The dress, it was so, tell us what, this, what happened with that dress? Because I know we got to see you mm -hmm. um, at your send off. So we got a little glimpse of it. Yeah. That dress was amazing. Thank you. I mean, the details. Mm -hmm. It was just beautiful. Did you get it here in Alabama or? I got it in Birmingham. In Birmingham. So I, we were actually there to try on other appearance dresses. And I just kind of saw it hanging up and I wanted to try it on. And it fit me perfectly. And I was like, mm -hmm. this this is a sign. This mm -hmm. is this going to be my dress that I get crowned in. So, wow. And then we got it stoned by an artist um, and just it kind of brought it to life. Wow. Well, I want you to stay tight right here. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a quick break, but we got some special surprises. <laughs> you like surprises. I do. You? Okay. <laughs> You're watching Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more with Miss America's Outstanding Team. And we have some special guests that will be joining us. <laughs> Welcome back to Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose, and today our very special guest is Miss America's Outstanding Team. Also, we have a special guest, surprise guest, Miss Joy Little, and she has been very instrumental in 
Jessica's journey. So, Miss Joy, I wanted you to be a part of this interview today. Thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am. I know Miss Jessica Bader has been very dear to your heart, and um, she just loves you so much. So I wanted you to be here today to be able to just give your congratulations and share your words of encouragement, words of wisdom, um, as she continued to travel on this journey that has been prepared for her. I'm so proud that the country will get to know yes. the sweet young lady and what she, with her servant's heart and what all she does, uh, she does it without thinking about it. Yes, and she wants to help so many people and she's not selfish, she's not all about the crown. She's That's just right. a very loving, giving, wanting to help people young lady. You know, I remember when I interviewed her when she was Miss Smith Station. Mm -hmm. And we were, um, after city council's mm -hmm. meeting, you said that. You wanted the world to get to know her. Mm -hmm. Since then, she went on to be Miss Alabama mm -hmm. and now Miss <laughs> America's outstanding team. So I think that is, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, she's just a special young lady. And I think that um, the world needs to know about it. That's right. And it was just, we're so proud of her. We love her. And, you know, I just... I don't know what else to say other than I'm so proud of I her. Know, and and um, she, she's going to do big things. We'll hear more about Jessica Bader. For absolutely, sure. absolutely. So tell everybody that's probably watching what role that you play in well, Justice. Well, I was the director, I, and she might want to tell you a different. I was kind of, you know, telling her what I don't know what to do, but I can find people to help her what to mm. do. I can see what you need to be done. And, she was so open to wanting to learn what mm -hmm. can help her do to, to get better and reach her goals. She's just that. She, she wants to do the best of her potential, and it shines. Oh, absolutely, it does. <laughs> I mean, how do you feel about that, Jessica? I mean, um, you, you're pretty remarkable, and you. you are a mentor to other young ladies, you know, other young people. Mm -hmm. And um, and I and it's so important to have someone like a Miss Joy Little to mm -hmm. to be by your side to encourage you to you know let you know it's gonna be okay yeah. and and um, she's very grounded you know <laughs> she's very uh, she takes criticism uh, very well you don't have to <laughs> criticize her too much you know because she's does what she's got to do but she she's very open minded very wants to do her best and. Sometimes, you know, it takes another pair of eyes to see mm -hmm. it, but didn't That's have true. to do too much with her. <laughs> well, Jessica, I know how you feel about Miss mm -hmm. Little. Would you like to say something to Miss Joy Little? Yeah, Miss Joy's, she's been like my second mama this whole year. I mean, September, I came into the Smith Station family, and it's almost been exactly a year. And with every girl that competes, you just take them in as your own, and That's you true. love them, and you support them, and help them to do their best. and. That's what she does. She doesn't, you don't mold someone into the person you want them mm. to be. You lift them up and you help them be the person that they're meant to be. Oh, that's right. And that's what you, that's, you that's do. That's really my well. job to really get the best out of each girl. And um, like I said earlier, once you're mine, you're always mine. She's <laughs> just very special. Not because she's Miss America's outstanding team. Yes. I mean, that too, that doesn't, it helps. But <laughs> it's just she's who she is. Yeah. She's, and I want people to get to know her. I feel like you're mine too. <laughs> I love all my moms that I have. <laughs> I feel like she's mine too. Well, um, Miss Joy, someone may be watching and they want to know, like, um, I wish my daughter okay. could get to this <laughs> point. If they can go online to MissMissStationPageant.com and this, you can enter. Saturday, I mean, Friday, September 1st is the deadline. The pageant will be Sunday, September 17th. Okay. Call me at 706-325-6827, and I can help them with any information that they need, but we would love to have them, even if they don't want to come mm -hmm. participate. Come to the pageant, support her, because Jessica will be there and see these young oh. ladies. I look at it that it's great entertainment, and anytime mm -hmm. you can see a child trying to better and succeed mm -hmm. and excel, mm -hmm. You know, what better way to spend your Sunday afternoon? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And well, it's 
sorry. Yep. It's so much more than a beauty pageant, and I don't think mm -hmm. a lot of people get that. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a scholarship organization mm -hmm. and a servant-led organization because you have your platform, and there's so mm -hmm. many scholarship opportunities, and it also helps you develop into a successful young woman who can interview for jobs or public yes. speaking and developing your talents. So there's so much more that goes into it that I don't think most people see. A lot of people don't know that Miss America is the number one scholarship provider in the world. Mm. I mean, they wow. last year they gave over forty-five million dollars worth of scholarship, and we just had a recent poll that came out. Next uh, one next to them is National uh, Negro College Fund, and then it goes on down to I mean, Coca-Cola Fund, um, the one in England. I mean, we are the number wow. one scholarship That's provider. That's good to know. And so girls don't know that. Yes. And I think the public doesn't know that. Wow. So just come on out. We start at, we'll probably start at 4 o'clock. We're waiting to get all our, our uh, applications in, and, and it might be 3. So we, But they'll put it in the paper for us. Awesome. Well, I love the fact that you help build them up with what's already there. It's, it, it was there, but you <laughs> needed someone to come into mm -hmm. your life. You needed someone to help nurture what was already there. Well, the job was not hard. It was very easy. <laughs> it was very easy. And um, she's just a special young lady. Yes. I mean, I don't know any other thing else to say, but we love her and yes. um, we wish her well and she'll go on and do great things. This is not the last you've heard of That's Jessica right. Bader. I like thank that. You. Well, thank you so much for taking the time thank to come you. in and surprise her today. <laughs> thank you. You're watching Spotlight on Lee County. This is CTV Bean. Welcome back to Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose and we are having a phenomenal great time here today. Well, another special guest here, a surprise guest for Miss Alabama's <laughs> outstanding team. We have Mayor Fred Bubba Copeland, who is the mayor of Smith Station. So we have him to join us today. And when I say this man is a burst of sunshine <laughs> <laughs> and laughter, joy in all, um, welcome, Mayor Copeland. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me, and it's so good to see Jessica. Absolutely. <laughs> Jessica, when you saw him, what, did you, what was your reaction? Well, you call Mayor Copeland. I call Mayor Bubba because yeah. we're just, <laughs> I don't know how we got so close. But he's, he's been amazing this whole journey just with little inspirational texts when I need them, and oh, I'm just really thankful for him. him. Yeah. That's him. I mean, he, he's so caring. Mm -hmm. I wanted him to be here because I know he has been instrumental to you, but I didn't know he has been a comedian for you as well, <laughs> <laughs> keeping you laughing. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wanted Mayor Copeland of Smith Station to be here because you started out as Miss Smith Station, and mm -hmm. I remember being there when you were about to go to be Miss Alabama, and I remember those words of encouragement, prayers that he had sent out for you as well. And that just, he cares. He and you are a young leader in the community and oh, in the world, <laughs> in the world. So I wanted him to be here today to share more words of encouragement mm -hmm. because they are so proud. The city of Smith Station <laughs> is proud of you. Lee County, we are Alabama. We are all <laughs> proud of you. So that's why I wanted Mayor Copeland to be here. So Mayor mm -hmm. Copeland, what you have to say? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I met Jessica it was last Christmas. She started her platform in Smith Station, and uh, they contacted me and asked me what I introduced us, introduced them to some people, and I had no idea who Jessica Bader was. I had no idea what a pageant was. I just know I'd heard about them, and uh, so when she come, we met, and, and little did I know the relationship that would develop between her family mm -hmm. and myself. And uh, she is a amazing person, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I've been a youth minister a long time, mm -hmm. and so dealing with young people is part of my thing. And but when I met her for the first time, I knew there was something different. And uh, and I can sum it up with this: some people claim to be Christ mm -hmm. followers. Mm -hmm. She is somebody that that lives like Christ does. Absolutely. And that makes different. That's what I think. That's wow. why we bonded. Mm -hmm. And then we can't be serious around each other. That's <laughs> the uh, it's, uh, we just we just clown all the time and. And uh, when she was about to go on stage at Miss Alabama, I sent her a text and says, we got this. You know, I was so mm. naive, I didn't know, you know. Yeah. And so she said, okay, great, you know, and, and I know she was nervous. Yeah. And so then she won that, mm. and I promise you, I was the proudest person I know. in the world. I was acting I like saw a crazy that. person. <laughs> and so then, I, I, then we had Miss America's Outstanding Teen, and, and so I'm trying to figure out why it's called Miss America's Outstanding Teen. Hell, I know, I didn't then. But when she was getting ready to go on stage, she was on quarantine. 
and I couldn't get to her, so I texted her mom, and finally she had her phone for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. So I knew the spot, the window that I could text her. And so I texted her, and I said, we're going to win this one too. And, uh, and so that day I can remember sitting at my desk when it happened. And I was the I was like wow. a proud dad. You know, and, I, <laughs> he was. and I was sending texts really? out to everybody. It was, you, know, you put it on social that, media. You know, I was and, like, and I was, and I was like, look at this, y'all. You know, we did it. We did yes. it. You know? And I'm just glad that you know that she was able to do that because, you know, it's great. You know, it's great when good things happen yes. to good people. Yes. And and she's a good person. Her family is beautiful. Uh, her, from her dad to her mom. And, yes. And, and she's surrounded by good people. And and like Miss Joy said earlier, you know. You'll hear a lot more from this child. Oh yes, this this is I just the, this is just the the diving board, the springboard yeah. to what she's going to become, because she's a uh, solid. Yes. Well, how has the pageant experience been for you? <laughs> oh man, uh, it's just it, it, you know the, one of the funniest stories, and I'll tell you is as she asked me to come do the prayer for her send off, oh. and so I'm I'm bubble. Yeah. That's all I'm ever going to yes. be. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I walk in and, and there's all these beautiful women, you know, and I'm like, wow, this is new. And so I get up there and I'm meeting people, you know, and I'm shaking hands and I'm like, hey, how you doing? I'm, like, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. And she says, well, I'm Miss Alabama, Jessica Proctor. And I'm like, yes. I'm Bubba. You know, and I go through and I, I meet different people, you know, and I didn't have anybody there to help me figure out who was who. Yes. And so by the time I got done, I was like, I'm such a clown, you know. And so I told Miss Joy, I said, uh, I had no idea who these people were. She said, "That's fine. You just kept them humble, you know." Yeah, so, I was there. I, re I I I remember seeing some of this. Yeah. <laughs> what you're saying? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a, it's been unusual for me. I I, I, I it's not just pretty faces. Mm -hmm. So the pageant world is not just pretty faces. That's right. Um, there's a lot more to that than mm -hmm. that. And, and that's if somebody would ask me what can I say about the pageant world, I would say that there's a lot of of, of mature young ladies that have a lot to say yes. and this is their platform to say it where they couldn't mm. really necessarily say it on the sideline or, right. or in sports or, or wherever. Um, mm. These young ladies have a lot to say and, and it's not just a pretty face. So that's my experience with the pageant world is, is there's a lot of young ladies that need to be heard and, and I'm yes. so glad Jessica is wow. the one that has the ability to Absolutely. let her voice be heard. Absolutely and she has represented the city of Smith Station. Oh she's, she's, she's a she's a you know Awesome. You know, yes. She's an awesome person. I'm so thankful that she's part of Smith Station and uh, part of my term as mayor. And, yes. Uh, she and I will have a lifelong relationship. Absolutely. Well, Jessica, what do you have to say about Mayor yeah. Bubba? Mayor Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so thankful that you and the city of Smith Station has just welcomed me with open arms. And I mean, I feel like we're family. I don't know yes. if you said oh, yeah. the same about me. I hope so. But yeah, just the love and support that you constantly give to everyone you meet is right. it's amazing right. yeah and th and that's him and i will say you represent the city of smith station very well as right. um, well so jessica um tell us some of one of your i'm, I'm probably putting you on the spot <laughs> one of your fondest memories with mayor copeland and if i'm, I'm probably selfie. putting you on the spot the, the <laughs> and it's okay the, the selfie behind me. <laughs> Because <laughs> they have so yeah. many funny stories, I heard. But I'm, I'm, I'm just curious to know one. Mm -hmm. There's a pretty good selfie out there. Yeah. Um, me and Mary Bubba, and yeah, yeah well, I, we can't take a serious picture. Yeah. It, it doesn't work. Well, everybody so. thinks, you know, like, like I'm the mayor, and she's, you know, Mr. Mayor's not saying anything that. You just can't be normal. Mm -hmm. But she and I are so goofy that that we're not normal. I mean, we, we try to we try to be normal. You're being but, real. But we're just, just being, being real. real. And that's our relationship, and and we just try to make each other laugh. Just random. We're just very random. <laughs> yeah, that's what I can say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Well, Mayor, we appreciate your time for coming out today to surprise her. Yeah. And she is. Um, I know she's dear to you, and she feels the same about you. Um, is there anything that you would like to close out um, this portion of our interview? Um, words of encouragement to Jessica <laughs> as she continue to travel on this journey. Yeah, I guess what I could say is anything that you want to do, as long as you put your mind to it mm -hmm. and you believe in yourself, you can do it. Uh, Jessica's a very special person, but she's a human. She's normal, mm -hmm. and uh, it doesn't matter if you want to be the best football player, the best dancer, the best teacher, whatever you want to do. If you just put your mind to it, believe in yourself, you can do it, and she is living proof of that. Yes. Uh, yes. She didn't take no for an answer. She didn't take the doubter. She didn't take anybody that doubted her. Wow. She just did it. Mm, and, I like uh, that. And it was not easy. I mean, it, it was not easy, and, and 
Um, now she has a platform that she can express her heart, and her heart is beautiful. Yeah. And uh, so I'm That's looking good. forward to seeing what she does. And, and uh, I just make sure that you use this to let people know more about the love mm. that you have, the mm. love of Jesus Christ. That's good. I love it. <laughs> Mayor Bubba Copeland of Smith Station, thank you so much. We appreciate you. You're watching Spotlight on Lee County, and we'll be right back after this. We have had a great time here on Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose, and I have had a wonderful time with Miss America's <laughs> outstanding team, Jessica Spader. We've enjoyed our guests. I hope you've enjoyed the show as well. Again, um, we're going to hear from her, um, words from her heart to you. And we would like to um, just let her know again, the city of Smith Station, state of Alabama. We are all so proud of her. She is on the national level. And next week, you are going to Miss Americas. Mm -hmm. And what you going to be doing again? I'm going to be performing one of the preliminary nights and doing other appearances with my platform and just around the community. <clears throat> so are you going to what, dance? or? I'm going to be dancing, yes. Oh. <laughs> You guys need to see her dance. Okay, so what would you like to say to the people mm -hmm. as we get ready to close out? Because I know you got something to say. You yeah. Want? Going to Miss Alabama and being able to represent this community, I could not have thought of a more loving and supporting community to be behind me. And so I'm thankful for everyone watching right now who has just, you know, poured their hearts into me. And I couldn't have done it by myself. Like I said earlier, it takes a village, and mm -hmm. this is the perfect one. And also, if you are interested in Miss America, it will be <laughs> next Sunday, September 10th. Um, and so tune into that and watch our very own Miss Alabama compete and all the other girls from across the country. And lastly, I have to say, Miss Loretta, coming and talking to you every mm -hmm. time, you just, you make people feel so comfortable. And we just, we have fun. Like we were saying, we, we have fun time. when we come. <laughs> and it's, you put a spotlight on other people oh. when... I, just, I want to turn the spotlight on you oh, because you're so inspiring to everyone you meet and just such a bright light and you share that throughout the community community and we're so thankful to have you. Well see I didn't expect that <laughs> <laughs> but thank you but I, I guess you can receive that, that or that returns mm -hmm. when you desire to put it on others and I do believe in shining whatever you do and you yeah. do you shine thank you beautifully thank so you. we've had a great time <laughs> oh I feel like she's mine we are so very proud of Jessica we continue to will pray support her again like Miss Little said uh, Mayor Copeland said this is not the end of this just the beginning we're going to hear more and more about Jessica Bader Thank you so much for watching Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose. You're watching CTV Bean.